All right, so I know you want to get tired of doing this at some point today. So right now we're going to try to head down towards the gaming room. It's loud. It's, it's very loud. So most likely I will be talking very little. It will be mostly just a show of uh, what it's like to go into the gaming room and all the stuff that people do in there. Uh, well, obviously gaming. Uh, makes me sad that I don't play uh, Yu-Gi-Oh anymore, but you know what? Oh well. I, I was a kid at one point. We all were. Uh, we all made very silly mistakes in our lives. So, uh, now we're going to go head down there and uh, I'll let everything speak for itself. Yeah, see, this is, this is one of the big problems with Otakon. Random Elizabeth's running by you. No, I'm sorry. Uh, no, uh, is people love to stop and take images of everything, which is fine and dandy, except that when people are trying to get through, they stop and they take pictures, which in narrow passages doesn't always work quite right. In fact, it doesn't work well at all. So, it can become a problem when you're trying to get through stuff. And look, look, Mega Man. Somebody's, you've got about nine or ten people stopping in front of you. And, uh, wanted to take a picture, so, yeah. Alright, so. Yeah. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna uh, stow this for now and I will bring it back up in a second. So, this is the video game room. This is where a lot of uh, Otakus come. Why? Because just as much as anime, just as much as manga, as much as everything else, as horrifying as something might be to see, Cosplay and everything. People will always love their video games. Video games of the right genre will always be a part of being an otaku. It's just a, well, it's a prime fact. So, in all my years of coming to Otakon, I don't think I've ever actually missed coming into the game room. Which, there's nothing wrong with that. The game room is fun. There's lots to be had, there's lots to be done. And over here, you can see uh, people gathering around. It might be a tournament of sorts. Uh, most likely it's a tournament. Uh, let's see which game it is. It is, oh, uh, oh, I forgot what the game is called. It's uh, the uh, DC game. Uh, oh, any other time I can remember this. Oh, well. I'm, I'm sure somebody will like remember it and be like, oh, it's that game. And I'm like, yeah, it's, it's that game. So yes, it's that game. Uh, one of my personal favorites here is uh, Tekken. Mainly because I just like to play Tekken. Even though somebody's getting like massively hurt. I know, I know. This is supposed to be a video covering the game room, and I, I, I've stopped to look at a game. I don't know, I should be a, a very shamed. Alright, so we're, we're moving along then. Checking out all the games. Now, these games aren't just the newest and the latest ones in Japan. These games go back decades. Uh, I don't know if you'll find Atari. I've never personally found Atari here. But, you find a lot of uh, stuff in the game room. A lot of old games, a lot of things that you've probably never seen or heard of. I know I've seen, uh, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's DJ Hero, but, you know, then you got stuff like these guys are playing here. If you can make that out. So, yeah, I mean, it, it takes all kinds in there. You got things like this, which she's playing. Time-based games. So, yeah, he gets all kinds of stuff. 
and it spends all it spends a lot so yeah I know I'm saying so yeah a lot but it's really not much to say on it I'm not even sure people can hear me so I'm trying to speak as loudly as my voice is actually able to reach and if actual video games aren't your thing you've always got the tournaments the card tournaments going on there he is Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic Pokemon uh, all the other beautiful things that go on in uh, well, the card game world. So, and traders and all the other stuff. So, yeah. Alright, so now that we've looped the room and seen all of the, well, not all of it, but most, a lot of what there is to see, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause it for right now. And we will talk again later. So, since I can't show you Artist Alley because it's supposed to be all original work and it's really not allowed to have cameras and stuff in it, the penalty for that is they take your badge, I figured I'd show you what the dealer room looks like. It's like going to Lexington Market or any kind of, uh, I don't know, a uh, rummage fest? Uh, I don't know, I can't think of the correct word for it right now, my brain is uh, probably a bit oxygen to start. But there's a bunch of booths and companies out to sell products, obviously. And that's why they call the deals room. And essentially, people come and buy stuff. You can bargain, you can haggle, you can see if you can get prices down, because a lot of them aren't that expensive, but they're expensive enough. So. Yeah, I mean, this, this is what happens, I mean, and same as before, people will stop, take pictures, so it gets a lot crowded really fast, and yeah, so anyway, uh, there isn't really too much to say about it, so I'm just going to shut up and, you know, move on. Show you, like, exactly uh, all the cool stuff that's going on here. And if by chance I ramble a bit, my bad. Mind you, uh, should excuse me. I should apologise for the shaky quality of this. Uh, I'm actually doing this by hand. I don't have any equipment, and my hand eventually is going to get tired. So I'll probably show everybody like half the room. You can, uh, we, we can do our, our spy. Uh, who, what anime is that person from, or what game, or whatnot? Because we have a shopping in Tally right now that we just walked past. So. Name that anime character and the anime. Yeah. Also, as an aerobic thing, this Ubicon walking around the dealer's room, great aerobic workout as you bend, teeter, dodge, do pretty much everything just to not get crushed. They also have these things called grab bags. You have no idea what's in the bag. You pay a set amount of money and they give you a, a bag and you hope that you actually got your money's worth and then just pay for a bag of rocks. No, I'm kidding, they don't do that. They don't, they don't do the bag of rocks. There's, there's something worth it in all of it, so. And they even sell wigs, just in case you want to go a different colour. 
jewelry, wigs, Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm. I, I, I have like colors for cosplay. Or, you know, if that's your hammer. If that's your thing. Anyway, so I'm gonna shut this off for a while since we've been around the longest and uh, we'll talk again later. Alright. That is awesome! Bless you guys.